Right. My wife was a patient at the Freeman Hospital for 12 weeks between May and November in 2019. Um, and hence the bed screen curtain. Um, I stayed over uh, there and I, uh, outside visiting hours, I just explored the city, avoiding the shops. And I kept a photographic record on my phone. So here we've got uh, a shot from the Gateshead side of the river. And you can see the, the, the castle in the center. Leaving that viewpoint, I walked under the Tyne Bridge, underneath the Sage, towards the Baltic, and then over the, the Eye. And here's that ubiquitous view of the, the Tyne. And of course, I had to take some photographs of the Eye. So here's the photogenic pictures of it. I like that one particularly because of the way it stretched out. And I was lucky that I was there at 12 p.m. when the, the bridge was raised. I then walked along the north side of the Tyne and here's this uh, incongruous summer display. So it's totally out of place there. And ahead of me is the Betty Surtees house, uh, the place where the, the, uh, the young lady ran away with the coal man, climbing out through the downstairs window. Up behind the Betty Surtees is the castle keep, and it sort of dates back to 1127. Henry II built it. But the place I wanted to go up to was onto the top, the, the Victorian battlements. And from there, you can see the, the two saints. So you've got Nicholas and James. The football, well, you've got the cathedral and the football stadium. So you've got God and Mammon. And just below, the, there's a 23 meter stretch where the railway runs through the, the old castle walls. I think at one stage they wanted to demolish the, the castle. But anyway, the railway is just below between the Black Gate and the, the keep. From there, I walked over to across the Grey Street, where you can see the, the famous memorial. And I descended down towards the Tyne. I went through the back streets and I, I got rather surprised. I found uh, this particular building, the Holy Jesus Hospital. Now, uh, it was originally on the site of an Augustine friary, and uh, in the 1600s, it became an almshouse for, uh, for the uh, freemen of the town. And if you go on a bit further, you can see the, the, the um, doorway and the, the heading. Well, this was all new to me. And then I went, I descended further, and I found another historic building, the original, Trinity House, um, 1505, it was established there for the Association of uh, Fishermen. So we know about Trinity House and light houses and so on since that day. Having looked into the um, yard of the place, I, I turned around and looked along the street. And there were one of these street views where the, the sage appeared again. Well, this was my next street um, in the residential area. And I really think that in a competition, we should call it Binfinity. Further over now, we're coming just to the edge of uh, Newcastle and the stepping stones lead you across into Jesmond Dean, which was the garden of Lord Armstrong, the industrious and armor manufacturer uh, from Victorian times. So wonderful place. It's uh, now now a public park. It's got waterfalls, rock establishments, and there's an old mill. Across the valley from the old mill, I found uh, well, oh, there's still the workings there. Across the valley, uh, from there, there's a, a, a chapel which was um, 12th century. St. Mary's Chapel, which was a, a place of pilgrimage. From the old, we come to something a little bit newer, Victorian Bridge, 
which was commissioned by Lord Armstrong, because it was quite difficult for the um, horse and carts of that day to get across the valley. So he had this bridge built. Uh, it's now traffic free because it won't take modern, the modern way to traffic, but it's a wonderful bridge. And if you go along the bridge, you come to uh, the, the parks. And through the parks, there are various edifices there. Here is what's known as King John's Well. And further along, I found this uh, place. I, and anyway, it was, until I found a notice, I didn't know what it was. It's a cattle run. Lord Armstrong didn't want the farmers uh, crossing his land normally, so he put in this cattle run for them to get down to the River Oosburn, where they, 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 um, they took on water. Well, then I discovered this ancient wall um, windmill, which was going back to the 18th century or before the, uh, 18, before the uh, 18th century. Uh, uh, well, no, it's this medieval one, the windmill. And at the very end, it's probably one of the oldest buildings in Newcastle. It's the house of Adam of Jesmond. It was built in the 12th century. And Adam went off to fight in the Crusades, never came back. So we were, that's really a bit of history around Newcastle. And I ended up finally in the uh, Hancock Museum. And so did the Diplodocus uh, from the Science Museum. And there's a great collection of uh, fossils and, um, and uh, dinosaurs. And it's a superb museum. And this is where I ended my walk with Tyrannosaurus Rex. 